Hey YouTube, Jim here, Further73, checking in after the Nashville Pipe Show. Just got home this evening and like anybody else that was down there, I'm sure your tongue is trash, so no pipe for me this evening. This evening I am going to enjoy this nice Perez Carrillo, little box, box pressed Robusto that uh, was given to me by Nate the Naked Cartwheel King. Not had one of these, but here lately I've been a big fan of the box press cigars, so let's light this guy up and see what happens. Hopefully everybody that uh, left the show today, oh look at that, hopefully everybody that left the show today has made it home safely or they are safely on their way. Just adjusted this torch after filling it up. It's a little uh, getting a little carried away there. There we go. That's a little better. Turn it down some to get rid of that sputter. New venue at Nashville this year. They were at the uh, set up at the American Legion, post number eighty-eight. So thanks to the Legionnaires for hosting us. It was uh, not a bad venue. Had a nice covered smoking area outside. A lot nicer than the tent set up we had at Chicago. The uh, breeze was able to blow all the smoke away and it didn't burn your eyes just to be out in the smoker. Got to see a lot of people I hadn't seen for a while. Met some new folks. Charles 9mm, I got to meet him. Of, uh, Followed his channel for a while and enjoy his videos. It was nice to meet Charles in person. Uh, got to see uh, Michael, the Cleveland Steamer. Shared a cigar with him. Uh, let's see, who else was there? Of course, the Dagners were there in full force. My buddy Salam, whose shirt that I'm wearing now. Salam launched his new line of pipes. And they're pretty impressive. Got a great price point, good quality piece. And uh, I happened to pick up one of his Dublins here. Really, really well made pipe. Nice, nice craggy rustication. And it's got, excuse me, see if I can get this angled right there. It's got a killer stamp in the bottom of it. It's basically the same logo that's on my t shirt. And, uh, you know, for as big and chunky as that bowl is, it really doesn't weigh a whole lot. It's short, so it clenches really well. And that bowl will last for well over an hour, so nice job on that old mess. Mr. One Man Smoke got to see uh, the new series of Dagner pipes that they rolled out at the show, which was pretty cool. Keep an eye on their website for that. Picked up a limited edition cob from uh, the guys at Missouri Mearsham. A nice uh, vulcanite saddle bit on it, so those cheap ass plastic ones they put on everything. All in all, it was a damn fine weekend. Nice change of pace from the old first world problems that we all face every day. Of course, Alex Bird was there. Got to see Birdman again. And, uh, Nick, Spokane pipe smoker, came out. I believe it was his first trip out of state and his first pipe event rolled into one, so that was probably an overwhelming experience for the for the kid. They had good entertainment, good food, and one hell of a pipe show. The uh, the guys that were there, you know, a lot of them were there last year. You know, it was nice to see how their work's changed over the last year or so. And there were a couple of guys there putting out some extremely good quality work that, uh, in my opinion, was probably well underpriced. You know, those guys could have uh, could have jacked their prices up a little bit and still still sold just as many pipes as they did. A lot of a lot of good looking up and comers out there.
had a tattoo artist in the house, which was kind of an interesting twist. Looked like they kept him busy with tattoos all weekend. Looked like he was doing some decent work out there. Smoking Grandpa Bones, I got to see him again. I haven't seen him since uh, May up in Chicago. He's doing well, looking good. Bones, it was nice to see you again. It's really great to get together with everybody and just have a hell of a good time. Uh, and this cigar is pretty tasty. I'm going to keep this one kind of short. I had uh, five hours on the road today. Took off out of Nashville right after breakfast. I, I stopped at the Cracker Barrel, had a nice hearty breakfast, gassed up, and drove to Evansville down in southern Indiana. And I took a little side trip down there to Cigar Cigar to see uh, some of my Evansville buddies. Which that was pretty cool. Got to see Cameron and Dave. Hadn't seen them. Mark was in there working. So shout out to the CC guys. And of course, uh, my favorite patron is in Hong Kong right now. So didn't get to see old Paz, but. What do you do? So I spent a couple hours in there while they watched the football game and enjoyed a couple of nice cigars with those guys. Had lunch and drove on home. Got home about oh, 7.30 this evening. And now I think I'm just gonna probably call it quits with the video and wrap it up by saying if you haven't been to a pipe show you owe it to yourself to go, and Nashville is a great one to start with. They've already planned to have the same venue next year, and from what I heard Joe Case and some of the other guys talking about, they're going to double the size of it. It was all in one room this year. They're going to open it up into a second room next year. So it looks like uh, the Nashville thing's taken off and uh, bigger and better things to come. So anyway, with that... Smoke them if you got them. May your tongues heal up from the weekend, and uh, we'll catch you around. I'll be doing some more videos here in the near future. I uh, I feel motivated to get back into the swing of the videos and shop time, making some pipes as things get back to normal in my world. So have a great work week, YouTube. We'll catch you next time.